Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julie. I am 50 years old. I'm a professional makeup artist. I am a licensed hairstylist. Today I'm gonna to show you this look. I've got some high-end products and some lower priced products, not low end, but lower priced products that are really good. So if you wanna see how I got this look, please keep on watching. If you are new here, thank you so much for being here. I'm a little kerfluffled right now, as I always am. I feel sometimes like I'm getting blocked every time I try to do a YouTube video. It's the weirdest thing. I'm gonna keep trying and hopefully this video will work out. So first I'm gonna start off with the e.l.f. Halo Glow. This is a new product that they came out with and I really like it. I think I'm just gonna put a little bit right there. And I'm gonna use my sponge. You don't have to use a sponge. You can use, use your fingers or you can use a brush. It really has a nice glow to it. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. And I have two colors. I have 3N1 and 2N1.5. The 2N1.5 is too light. So let's see if that is going to blend. Mixing it in with the, yeah, 3N1. My face looks so much lighter than my shoulders. I don't know why, I think it's my lighting. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and pounce this on with my Stands Out sponge. For reference, I'm a dry skin, and if I put anything too matte on my skin, it will really enhance my fine lines, especially right in here. So that's what I'm looking for when I'm using any kind of foundation is I wanna make sure that it doesn't settle into those lines. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Oh, it is really raining outside. I'm actually gonna use a little bit on my eyelids as well, why not? And then I'm gonna use my sponge. I always forget how much coverage this has and I used way too much of course, but the sponge helps with that. It helps take the excess off, so I'm not too worried about it, but I definitely didn't need that much for sure. For bronzer, I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty Happy Sol and place it right in there on the high points of my forehead, right at the tip of my nose, and a little bit right there. And I don't wanna disturb the foundation that I placed underneath, so I'm just gonna tap it out rather than swiping and wiping. Also, that's a really good tip. If you have dry skin that's kind of flaky, don't swipe and wipe with a brush because you're almost gonna, like you're gonna create a lift on the edges of that dry flaky skin. So really learn to pat it out versus, you know, swiping and, and dragging. Just along my jawline. I went out one time, I had uh, used a contour underneath my chin and I forgot to blend it. I noticed at the end of the day that I had this big line across the bottom of my jawline. Oh my gosh, I was so embarrassed. I hope nobody noticed, but of course they probably did. And nobody told me, like I would have told somebody had I noticed that. That is so pretty. A couple of my favorite palettes that I go to all the time are actually really affordable and they're the e.l.f. Matte for Matte Nude Mood palette. Let me just open this up for you. So it's got all these beautiful shades in here and they are high quality for such a low price. And then this one, I believe it's called Rose Gold and it is so pretty. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead with the mattes and then I may pop a shimmer on just cause I love shimmers. I'm gonna use this color first. Normally my base is Soft Ochre by MAC, but I got lazy and I used the concealer, so it'll work. Let me know in the comments if you guys have used this before. I wonder if I lower the... I think that's better. Now I look like I match, yay! Oh my God, that's all I had to do. So I'm gonna go into this color right here with a stiffer brush. You see, starting right at the crease and then whatever is left on my brush, I'm gonna drag in. Bless you. And don't worry if it doesn't look perfect, it's all gonna blend. And I always will just kind of take my brush on that outer corner and flick it up and that way it gives me a little bit of lift. So I'm gonna dip into this color right here and 
place it on the outer third. Don't be afraid to play with your makeup. It doesn't matter how old you are. We deserve to have fun. This is like my meditation. I've actually kind of had a crappy day today. I was gonna say something else, but I don't wanna swear. <laughs> um, yeah, I've kind of had a, a crappy day today and this is what I wanted to do. I just kind of wanted to come in here and meditate a little bit and do something for myself something that makes me feel good, even though I'm gonna take it off right after, it's like art therapy for me. Don't stress about getting it perfect because that's when it becomes stressful and it shouldn't be stressful, it should just be fun. I'm gonna dip into both of these colors actually because I can't decide which one I want. And I'm gonna place that on that, probably the first half. I'm gonna show you what it looks like with all matte shades first and then I'll I'll add a little bit of shimmer so you can see what it looks like underneath the brow bone. That's also gonna set the concealer underneath so that it doesn't crease. Now I'm gonna take a little smudge brush. This, this is by BK Beauty and, and it is brush 207. I'm gonna dip into this one and I'm gonna dip into this one. Always starting from the outer corner my pressure is a little bit harder there, and then as I tickle it into the inner corner, I lift up my brush. So you can see that it goes from thick to thin. I'm gonna go ahead and put my mascara on and do the rest of my face, and then I'll add on the shimmer so that you can see what a beautiful difference it makes. I'm gonna use Charlotte Tilbury's Iconic Nude. I get so many compliments on this. It's not too orange, it's not too pink. Everything goes with this and I leave it a little bit lighter in the center. And I'm gonna use BK Beauty's Kindness. Those are so nice, by the way. If you haven't tried them, they're nice and creamy, and they're very rich in pigment, so you don't need to layer a lot of it. I typically do my lipstick first and then I'll decide what blush I wanna use with it. So I already know that this one would be too much, right? I feel that way anyways. Like you can wear whatever you want, but I like to kind of go on the same similar tones. That's actually not too bad. Hmm, It's got a little bit of a peach to it, right? I feel like this one is in a similar family. So this one's called Kiss of Rose by Bare Minerals. If you haven't tried these before, they're so pretty and they last a really long time on my skin. I generally have a problem with blushes leaving my skin very early, I'm not sure why, but this one stays. So I typically will tap it off on my hand first and go from there. Yeah, perfect. If you ever feel like you've gone heavy handed with your blush, don't worry. You can take an empty brush and blend over it or you can take your um, setting powder or your translucent powder and go over it lightly and it will blend it all in. But I don't worry about it too much because again, it's the first thing that leaves my face and I don't feel like that's too much. I feel like that's really pretty. I'm noticing that I would like a little bit more bronzer on my forehead. I'm gonna use the Hourglass Ambient Light and this is in Radiant Bronze Light. And I'm just gonna take that up on my forehead a little bit. I feel like that matches my shoulder better. You know how a lot of us will walk around and we have kind of this white spot here, whether we're reading outside, you know, or looking down at our phones, this gets shaded by our neck or by our chin. A great way to pull color back into your skin in this area is to bronze it up. Let me go into this color right here. It's so pretty. I'm gonna use my fingers and just tap that on. You could use a brush. Like it's so nice. And I find it's subtle, like it's not glittery at all. You can wear it during the day. 
You could pop some on at night if you're not comfortable using it in the daytime, but it's really soft and subtle. I love it. I always get compliments when I use these palettes. They are so inexpensive, so quality is there. Oh, right, I wanted to show you my favorite setting powder. So I have a few. I love the Hourglass Veil setting powder. I love the Say Beauty, but my favorite is the Laura Mercier Blur Powder. If you haven't tried this and you have dry skin, you will love it. Um, it's talc free, so it's new for them to have talc free powder. And I never ever find that my skin looks dry. Let me just find a brush here. But I will apply it right here where I have those larger pores. I never had that problem when I was younger, but here I am. And right in here. Again, this is where my pores are a little bit larger around my nose where it tends to wear off the fastest and on my chin. For me, the e.l.f. 16 hour camouflage concealer doesn't need a powder, but again, I'm dry. So if you do have more oils to your skin and you feel like you need to set it with powder, this powder will also do really well under your eyes. I'm gonna use Bobbi Brown Pink Glow for my highlighter. I don't really even need a highlighter, honestly, but but I might as well since I feel like playing. This one's a super subtle one, and that's why I like it. Really subtle. Oh my gosh, I made it through the video. I think my camera shut off at one point I don't know what I missed. So if this is broken up and haphazard, I am so sorry, but I've just got to get it up. I got to keep trucking and trying at this. Um, I Sometimes I get frustrated and I want to give up, but I don't want to give up. So anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button. That will help me out so much. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see. Do you like foundation reviews? Do you like more skincare? I am a makeup artist and hairstylist. That's my specialty, but I do know some things about skin so I can help you along with that. And yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. So I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for being with me and I will see you later. Bye!